Hi, welcome back to Ras Aquaculture Channel. Previously, we tested on new salt for mud crab farming. We prepared the water, checked the salinity, and placed the crabs in the tank. Now, let's see what happened over the next few days. thousand years later on the first night we faced an unexpected issue the crabs escaped from the tank since we didn't cover the top they managed to climb out the next day we added a new crab to continue the test the next night we noticed something interesting the crab was molting but we weren't sure if this was caused by the water or if the molting process had already started before we placed it in the tank. By the third day, we found the crab had died. After testing the water, we discovered the ammonia level had risen to 5 mg L, far too high for mud crabs to survive. The high ammonia was caused by leftover feed that we didn't remove from the tank. This led to poor water quality and stress the crab. To fix this, we're starting a new test. This time, we'll use the same salt, but with a larger 7OL tank and a complete filtration system to maintain water quality. We'll be using 1.15 kilograms of sea salt and 177 grams of sodium bicarbonate to ensure proper salinity and alkalinity levels. Let's see if this setup improves the results. Will this new setup work better? Stay tuned for the next update as we continue testing. Let us know in the comments what you think about our results so far. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more aquaculture experiments and farming insights.